What's going on guys? So today I have a really awesome video. Um, I'll be looking through an unsearched coin collection for very rare and valuable coins. Uh, so this used to actually belong to my grandpa and he was a coin collector himself. He really loved coins. So let's look through this and see what we can find. There's some things I won't show like for example, uh, this is just, I think it's just recent American coins. I don't think there's any silver in there. I'll have to look for some key dates in there later. But maybe there's like one silver coin or something adding in there. So let's get started. And this one here looks like um, old copper coins from the 1800s, maybe some early 1900s. A lot of old tokens. I just love these. 1855 Prince Edward Island. Ships and Colonies token. One shilling, 1845. 1900, right on the dot. 1832, one penny token. 1902. This one's a real thick one. I think this one's a one Stever or something. I think it might be. Looks like a Bank of Montreal token. 1837. I am not sure what this is. We got a large cent. Prince Edward Island one. It's hard for me to read this because I'm looking through the camera. Um, but you can see some letters. I'm sure it's an old one. A funny looking portrait on this one, 1802. Another coronation medal. Success to the fisheries. Plow token, I think. Another old copper. 1940 then in 1938 so it's cool um, most of you don't know but I actually metal detect as well uh, check out my other channel it's called Canadian history hunter I'll put in the link below and um, I find a lot of old coins metal detecting and I actually found this isn't the coin I found the coin I found is in my my metal detecting coin binder upstairs but um, I found the exact date of this 1917 when metal detecting, which was pretty awesome. And even more awesome considering I wasn't even in Newfoundland. Just going to sort these out and then I'll show you them. All right, so I sorted the uh, half dollars out um, with the portrait. So these, the ones on the top are all Queen Victoria's from the 1800s. These are all silver, so they're worth quite a bit. I have to go through my uh, book to see how much they're worth individually um, and kind of kind of determine and kind of determine what the grade of the coin is but um from what i can see they're in fairly good condition like this one right here is probably the better condition one out of them so that's what they look on the front i'm pretty sure these were are the newfoundland or prince edward island half dollars yeah newfoundland there we go so then we got the King Edward ones, then the George V, half dollars. These are some pennies from Newfoundland, 1941s. Then these are three uh, silver quarters from Newfoundland, 1912, 1917, and another 1917 with George V on the back. I'll just dump it out. Looks like a lot of large cents. Nineteen twenty nine, forty one, nineteen thirty six, silver quarter, got some large cents. Nineteen sixteen, looks like a tone back nickel, nineteen forty two. George the sixth penny, silver dime from fifty two. Self-government and free trade. I love those old tokens. They're so awesome. Old nickel. Large cent. Victoria. 
victory nickel. Then we got some silver dimes, silver fish scale, I love these coins, 1920, 1919, an Indian head penny, a weedy, more large cents, another 1919 dime, and an old nickel from 1908. So I actually found three more old tokens and another tin. Um, I'm not sure what this one is. Looks like an old copper, probably from the early 1800s. Another large cent, 1911. And then a 1838 trade and navigation token, a one stever. Really cool. Then we got some George the Fifth pennies. Most of them are in the 30s. Then the portrait on the back is this. I love these pennies. Really cool looking design. So with the next tin of coins, I'm pretty sure these are British coins. Most of them are silver. So these ones up top here are two shillings. It's in 1937. 39. This one's a half crown. From 1957. Then we got some quarters, or sorry, some one shillings, 1941, 39, 48, 44, 55. Then we got some dimes, a George the Sixth, and then some Young Liz dimes of 51. I think this one's an older one. I'll just a George the Sixth, probably in the 40s. And, uh, oh yeah, so I forgot to show you these. These ones are more, a few more one shillings. 45, 42, and a 48. You got a pretty cool nickel, George the Sixth, 1941. And then a 1943 half penny. So now these are some of the nickel dollars. Don't think they're worth too much because they're not silver, but they're still pretty cool. I think most of them are mainly in the 80s. Okay, we got a 68 there. So it could be a silver dollar. Then here we got some silver dollars. I love how big these things are, they're pretty awesome. We got some 1962, 72. So I guess some of these aren't silver, some of them are nickel dollars. 58, 64, 63, I don't know what that's doing in there, 60, Centennial Silver Dollar, 69, those ones at the top look like nickel dollars because they look a bit smaller, A young Liz silver dollar. And yeah, the ones on the top are uh, 68, 69, it's probably nickel dollars. That one's got some fairly nice toning on it. Now we got the Kennedy half dollars. I don't think, yes, yeah, some aren't silver. Some are. So now these are some of the coins, uh, well, the only coins that I guess my grandpa put in coin holders. He should have put a lot more of them in coin holders because a lot of them, well, some are worth quite a bit, especially the silver ones, but we got some more half dollars up here. And some he wrote down, I guess, what they were worth maybe at the time, a long time ago. So that was worth like $6 back in... I don't even know when he wrote that. 
1911. Some of them, it's hard to tell the date, 1919. And then these ones are just nickel half dollars. Yeah, just recent ones. Almost silver, 1969. No idea what that is. This one's really good condition penny from South Africa, 1947. A large scent from Newfoundland. A Apollo 11 token thing. I'm not sure what that is. Probably a commemorative coin or something. It says something about a post office. Um, one of those confederation tokens, 67. Abraham Lincoln medallion, which is kind of cool. A 1965 um, uncirculated penny, which looks like the large bead variety. 1921 George V penny. 1920 275. 1952 brilliant uncirculated mid 63. $6. Wow. Does not look uncirculated. So dark. Got some interesting toning on the back though. You can definitely see the detail in the hair, so I guess, yeah, it is um, in good condition. 1936. 1911 fish scale coin, $2. Then two other large cents. Then a one troy ounce, 0.999 fine silver, United States of America. These are cool. So I just dumped some of the coins from that were in there. Uh, kind of sorted them a bit. There's a few coins I left in there, but those ones are just recent quarters from like the 80s. So there's no point of even showing them. So I'll start off with this thing right here. A Mayflower, Nova Scotia, probably a commemorative thing, 1967. These are cool, really heavy, $1 gaming token. Las Vegas. Like that logo, really cool. Another one of those, I think. Oh no, this is actually another one of those Apollo 11 ones. Then we got a few silver quarters. Ray's track, some sort of token. Two highways of uh, department tokens. George the fifth penny, a few silver dimes, centennial ones. Thinks I think those are fifty percent silver. Then we got a fairly old uh, Canadian one, nineteen thirty. George the fifth. We got some subway tokens. This one's in good condition, really shiny. A franc. I wonder what the date is on this one. One franc. Okay, it's only from 91. Two centennial nickels uh, with the bunny rabbit on, Canadian ones. Another token. A buffalo nickel, but it is dateless. You can't see it. It's in rough shape. So now let's start with the binders. So these are the Canadian small cents that start from 1920. I don't think these ones are old. The ones in this thing that I'm holding. I think there's some missing, but the majority of them are there. Those are the portraits on the back. Now these are the Canadian dimes from 1937 to date. Oh, I love the look of old silver. Oh, so these are awesome. I love looking at um, old silver coins that are in amazing condition. Nineteen forty-seven, extra fine. That one's like almost uncirculated. Nineteen 
extra fine. Thirteen dollars. What makes them worth even more is that they're uncirculated and they're silver, so that's awesome. So I uh, didn't open up the other side yet, but these are some of the other silver dimes. They're in really rough shape. Then we got some older ones here. I'm not sure what the date is on that one. It almost looks like a proof. Sometimes it's hard to tell with the silver coins. 1969 so I guess he wrote that in 2001 that it was worth a dollar fifty so since it's quite a few years later um, almost more than 15 years it's probably worth just a bit more some more silvers these ones are older ones George V some Edward and maybe a Vicky somewhere in here and then a few more older silvers Then these are the Canadian half dollars from 1937 to 1960. I guess there's a few missing, but. It's cool how they put the mintages below there. With the nickels, 1922 to date. Then we got some of the Canadian large cents. And then the Canadian quarters from 1911 to 1952. That's a 1910 up top. So if this 1912 quarter was worth $4.50 in 1987, you gotta wonder what it would be worth now in 2019. Quite a bit more, hopefully. A lot of these have some toning on them. Then we got the caribou, George the uh, sixth ones. So that's pretty much about it um, for this collection. There's a few more, but um, like bills and stuff. So I'll do another video on that another time, but. So thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. And if you haven't, make sure to hit that bell button so that when I post a new video, you all can see it right away.